In this video, we will review the properties of the special right triangles, the 45-45-90 triangle and the 30-60-90 triangle. So remember that if you're talking about a 45-45-90 triangle like this, the pattern that we have memorized is that um, this is an isosceles triangle. You can tell because these are base angles uh, which are equal. So the legs are always going to be the same. And then the hypotenuse will be the leg times radical 2. So we've memorized that. So for problem number 14, we are given that one of the legs is 5, and we're supposed to find the rest of the stuff. So um, if one leg is 5, that means the other leg is 5, and the hypotenuse will be 5 radical 2. Okay, so the hypotenuse will be 5 radical 2, and the other leg will be 5. Okay, now, um, for problem number 15, we're given that one of the legs is radical 7. Okay, so if one of the legs is radical 7, that means the other leg is radical 7 as well, because it's isosceles. And the hypotenuse should be radical 7 times radical 2. Uh, but radical 7 times radical 2 is radical 14. And that can't be simplified, so we'll just leave it like that. So the hypotenuse is radical 14, and the other leg is radical 7. Okay, um, the next couple problems refer to the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's review how that works. So here is an example of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, it's all about the short leg when you are dealing with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The short leg will be across from the 30 degree angle. If you double the short leg, you get the hypotenuse. If you take the short leg and you multiply it by radical 3, then you have the long leg. But everything is written um, in relation to the short leg. So always start with the short leg if you can. Okay, so for problem number 16, they were nice to us and they gave us the short leg first. So the short leg is 4. So if the short leg is 4, then the hypotenuse is going to be 8 because it's just double the short leg. And then the long leg should be the short leg times radical 3. All right, so the hypotenuse is 8, and the long leg is 4 radical 3. OK, um, number 17 is slightly trickier. Because they gave us the long leg, and they gave it to us as a whole number. So look, let's go back to the pattern. All right, we'll use x to represent the short leg. Then the uh, hypotenuse was 2x, and the long leg is x radical 3. Okay, now in this case, we are told that the long leg is 15. That means um, x radical 3 must equal that 15, because that's the long leg. So I can solve this for x. Uh, by simply dividing both sides by radical 3. Okay, and this is one of those times where you should rationalize the denominator um, because 3 goes into 15, so you should definitely rationalize the denominator. So the short leg is 15 over radical 3 but we will rationalize the denominator by multiplying by radical 3 in the top and the bottom. That's going to give us 15 radical 3 over 3. 
that's going to give us 5 radical 3. So that is the short leg now. Okay, so let's write that down. So the short leg is 5 radical 3. Now remember, the hypotenuse should be double this. All right, just like when the short leg was 4, the hypotenuse was 8. So if I take this and I multiply by 2, that's simply going to give me 10 radical 3. I don't like that radical. I'm going to fix that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.